So we have the lineup for this afternoon's game, Yankees versus Rays. But let's quickly recap last night's big win for the Yankees. 6-5 victory in late innings over the Rays. Comeback victory. This is what the Rays were doing to the Yankees last week. The Yankees are tying, taking a lead, and then they'll come back and win. The Yankees are doing it back, and that's the type of energy that we need. Led by Big Daddy Anthony Rizzo with a two-home run night. Okay? Yeah, two home runs. He went, let's see. A Rosa ran a home run. Hit a home run at first, put the Yankee, put the Rays up. Okay, and Anthony Rizzo tied at one. Okay, but a home run in the bottom of the first. Jose Siri, second home uh, for the second home run for the Rays, two to one in the second inning. This is off Garrett Cole, gave up two more home runs. He's up to four of the year now, but you know, he held him down to two runs in five innings, so which is good. Then Volpe tied the game at two in the fifth inning with a home run. And Volpe with an RBI single to put him up three to two. Kids coming back in the seventh spot, too. He's looking pretty good there. Uh, uh, Oswaldo uh, Cabrera, another single. He was thrown out at second, trying to stretch into a double, but he did uh, drive in another run, make it 4 2. Then, of course, Josh Lowe hit the home run, a three run shot off of Michael King. And account, on occasion, relievers that, you know, like just like money starters, money relievers get hit, too. And he got hit. So, and uh, but the Yankees came back. Anthony Rizzo with the two run shot to put him up 6 5 in the bottom of the eighth, getting him a curtain call, helping the Yankees get the win. 6-5, and that was the offense of the game. Cole went five, <clears throat> five hits, two runs, four strikeouts, 95 pitches. So he was working harder than he needed to work. He was laboring. It was a little warm today, yesterday, too, but um, he didn't get the win, though. Ian Hamilton, man, he was money with that with that three strikeout uh, sixth inning yesterday. Michael King is one that got hit in the third, four hits, three runs, gave up that three-run home run. Clay Holmes got the win. He's one and two now, two-thirds, one hit, and Wandy Peralta with a clean – Ninth and the save. So, great game. Great win for the Yankees. They get some momentum. They needed that win against the Rays. There's two more games. Okay? Two more games. But let's get to the, today's lineup, and then I have a couple of hot prospects for you, too. And Gleyber Torres is leading off again, batting uh, second base. Aaron Judge DHing today. Half a day and batting second. Anthony Rizzo's batting third at first base. DJ LeMahieu, third base, batting fourth. Looks like they like this lineup, at least the two, three, and four. Harrison Bader's in fifth, batting fifth, center field. Isaiah kind of left, batting sixth in left field. Anthony Volpe's going to back at the seventh spot where he <laughs> he had a good game yesterday. Playing shortstop and Jake Bowers in the eighth spot in right field. And then Kyle Higashioka at the dish, batting ninth. And on the mound, on the bump, stump, nest of the mustache portents. we got to follow up Garrett Cole, the game, and uh, hopefully he'll put these guys in a position to win this game. I mean, I, at the very least, they should be splitting this series at the very least. So, But I was very happy to see this last night, and uh, I did hang out with my wife last night, so my apologies for not live streaming, but we will go live after today's game. So, and um, – she wanted to hang out last night, went to the movies, and did some, you know, had some fun stuff. So, and uh, but we're gonna live today after this game. And again, let me know what you think of the lineup. Get some hot prospects, and these are see. This is the thing too with the prospects. When they when they keep repeating themselves on the prospect list, at least when I keep repeating uh, weekly, then these guys you know are probably going to be the next ones that are probably due for call ups, promotions, and stuff like that. Okay, and we'll start at the uh, high A. Who do you think it's going to be? Spencer Jones again. Okay. Uh, sixth home run of the season. He was 2-4 last night. <clears throat> Double home run, three RBIs. He's just tearing the cover off the ball. He really, really is. And what more can you say? He's going to move up. I think he's going to be double, double day, uh, in Somerset in, in short time. And obviously in double-A Somerset, we got uh, Austin Wells. He's also tearing the cover off the ball. I repeated, you know, he's been on the repeat defender list too. Two for five, double, three RBIs. He has a 992 OPS since he, he got back from his rehab assignment from his injury. So. He's still, and he hits from the left-handed side, as does the AAA catcher. Next guy, Ben Workbet. One for two with a home run last night, two walks, RBI. 390-foot home run. Again, this is a guy that's got – he has this, the, the same type of defensive skill set that Jose Trevino does just from a, a little bit more of a better bat, and it's also from the left-handed side. So he can be an intriguing part. I'm guessing it's either him or Austin Wells that might be <clears throat> replacing Kyle Gashoka at some point. To be pairing with Jose Trevino, the Yankees uh, catching duel. So, but we'll see, we'll see. But these are the guys: Spencer Jones, Austin Wells, Ben Workbet. They keep bringing it every single week. Okay, and Jason Dominguez. 
Not really doing much yet. He's over two, three. He's drawing a hell of a lot of walks, man. He's got and uh, <laughs> three had three walks last night. He, I mean, he walks like two, three times a day. And uh, you know, he's still betting. He's still batting under two hundred. But you know, he's at the very least getting on base with walks, and he is being aggressive. He's stealing bases too. So that's who we have. I know. I mean, Jason Dominguez. I think there's a lot of folks on Dominguez watch, but <clears throat> right now, Jones I think is ahead of him in terms of who would probably get a call. But you never know. You never know. And I see uh, Spencer Jones get a promotion pretty quickly. So if he keeps this torrid pace, just like Austin Wells, if he keeps this torrid pace, I could see him up in AAA. And again, that's the progression to double-A catcher would move up to AAA while the kid AAA catcher would move up to the major leagues or be traded. So things to be coming, things to be, you know, things to be excited about, especially on the offensive side. But the Yankees win last night. Okay. The series is tied. We got two games left. Let me know what you think of the lineup. And I will see you after the game today. Go Yankees. Let's go.